Hello and welcome to my video on developing a coaching strategy for increasing intrinsic motivation in youth sport participants. So what is intrinsic motivation? Essentially intrinsic motivation is that type of motivation that derives itself from deep within the individual. There's three key areas that someone who has intrinsic motivation will display the desire for knowledge so that's learning new skills desire for accomplishment which is the want and the drive to master those skills and uh, the seeking of the stimulation which is actually the, the physical feedback and the, the response the actual feelings of the task and there has been a recently discovered fourth dimension to intrinsic motivation which is a deep-seated passion where's my sock come from good coffee good friends things with air time and a good life why promote intrinsic motivation well the focus on youth sport should be to promote health and well-being and creating a positive environment for the individual development. So through intrinsic motivation, we can create a sense of fulfillment and success regardless of the outcome of an event. And also internally derived reasons for sport participation tend to lead to ongoing involvement. So the continued involvement in the sport. Through self-determination theory, there's three innate human needs that each, every individual feels required to, to fulfill. That of competence, autonomy and relatedness. Competence is having the confidence in one's own ability to actually perform the task. But in terms of developing intrinsic motivation, the sense of competence on its own isn't sufficient. We need to have autonomy. So we need to feel that we are actually in control of the choices or the decisions that we're making, which is in itself autonomy. And relatedness is the sense that we have connection with other individuals, other humans. That with competence, autonomy and relatedness in mind, we're going to develop a coaching strategy which focuses on promoting these three areas as a way of developing increased intrinsic motivation. So as far as competence goes, we're going to try and create an atmosphere or a mastery climate in our coaching environment. So that's where our focus will be on the improvement of skill and the application of maximum effort as opposed to the outcome of competition or the end results. Um, we're going to look at autonomy and allowing individual expression and supporting personal choice. And finally, through relatedness, we're going to facilitate a comfortable and a fun team atmosphere for the individuals to be part of. Our strategy is going to be called the TMO strategy. We're going to focus on team cohesion as a way of increasing relatedness. We're going to focus on movement as developing competence and ownership as a feeling of autonomy. Team cohesion. Team cohesion is about creating a sense of unity and oneness within your group. And the way we're going to go about that is to create trust. So perhaps as part of your warm-up routine each session, you're going to start to play some trust games and develop a sense of connectedness with the group. Um, I'm not going to go into details here of trust games. You can Google plenty of those. As part of the team cohesion, you want the group working towards one goal. So by doing some development of a goal that suits not only yourself and the outcomes you want to create for the team, but the individuals within the teams themselves. And so everyone feels like they're part of creating that end goal decision. And group support is about giving the people the feeling that they can turn to each other. So through creating that trust, you then get the group support. Movement. So the movement element of our coaching strategy is to make movement fun. So this is about the creating the coaching environment 
that we call the mastery climate where our focus is on the application of effort so our definition of success like Rudin's becomes that success is the peace of mind which is a direct result of the self-satisfaction in knowing you made the effort to become the best of which you were capable positive feedback so that's about the way we go about giving feedback we want positive feedback again we're not going to go into details of this there's plenty of resources out there for positive feedback and athlete guided learning so this is about not only just giving positive feedback and telling the athletes to improve but equipping them with the skills so that they can learn themselves okay so one really fantastic way of doing this is with video feedback Example coaching yeah. video. Oh, Although you want to keep your videos positive and of correct movement, this is much more fun. Ownership. So ownership is about creating that sense of autonomy. The individuals need to be given a sense of direction. So that can be quite literal in that they lead the way perhaps for certain things or, or they're given the sense that they are essential in creating the direction of a training session or the activity that's taken place. All teams are made up of individuals and you have to make sure that there is that sense of individuality there so making sure you know everybody's name the position they play asking day-to-day -day questions about their lives within obviously the limits of of your duty of care working with youth and giving responsibility so be that with equipment or or the captaincy of the game perhaps making sure that each individual gets the opportunity to take responsibility and step up beyond just being a member of the team. So there we have it, the TMO strategy. So the TMO strategy isn't a whole coaching plan within it on its own. It is a framework within which you can add to your existing coaching program. So by using the team cohesion, the movement and the ownership ideas and applying them to the processes in which you already undertake in your training sessions, you can help create intrinsic motivation in your youth athletes.